Welcome to a first look at the MLD Seal Poly Cricket. I'll, I'll take you around and I'll, uh, I'll point out a few pointy outy things that might assist. The first thing to note is that you need to have your pole at about 140 centimetres. I, I, you definitely won't be able to pitch this Seal Poly version at at less than 140. I do various different um, configurations with the door and we'll kind of see see what we see. This isn't a review because this is literally the first time you know that I've seen this shelter in this size and this material. I did have many years ago the original Cricket and it's one of only two MLD shelters that I've ever sold. To get under the door in this configuration, it is, you know, it is quite low, I have to say. So you do have to kind of duck under. So you might want to put something just on the floor if it's very, very wet, you know, just put a foam mat down there or something. <laughs> you don't need a footprint, but I would strongly suggest that you put, you know, a foam mat down there or something like that. <laughs> well, welcome to Lizzie <laughs> and, and Lassie digging holes. So this is the, this is the inside at 140 centimetres. So let's just show you this is the inner i mean you know it's a it's a one person lassie it's a one person shelter so you know you haven't got oodles of room in here but you've got you know you've got enough and you've got a pretty decent porch as well which we'll take a look at later. This is the inner that comes with it and Ron will insist on using the, this D door. I must admit I'm with some of the others on this one Ron. I do wish you would go back to your inverted T. This is probably cheaper and simpler but I must admit your, your T door um, it's just better, it's just better. Anyway, it is what it is. So we're inside and yeah, there's, you know, there's plenty of room in here. I can lie down and there's a good, a good bit of room all around. And my pole is pretty straight here. And yeah, I'm over to the, you know, I'm over to the door side. So, you know, you've got, you've got plenty of sitting up room in here. Yeah, it looks, uh, it looks pretty decent actually. I mean, my head is brushing, you know, the side here. But when you, when you're in a lying down position like this, come on then, when you're in a lying down position, then your head's not really anywhere near the edge. It's, uh, it's quite, <laughs> it's quite comfortable, <laughs> as Avery demonstrated. You've got plenty of room in here. You can put 20 of you in here. The inner, it does touch the outer, but that doesn't matter. Personally, I don't really think that matters. Some people might fuss about that, but... 
you've got these these things here so you could you could pull the you know get some bungee cord and and you could bungee cord it over to a tie out point there but I must admit I never bother I never bother with that if you have if you have a slightly longer pole if you can do a slightly longer pole you could angle it ever so slightly and you know and then you'd give yourself you know a little and then if you had a you know a good sized ground sheet in here you'd give yourself you know a pretty decent amount of of space in here and you can get your you can get your feet around the pole easily enough oh oh let's see oh dear okay so that's a brief that's a brief look at the inside like i said i've got a seam seal it we'll play around with it you know a little bit more and we'll we'll see what we what we see one <laughs> One useful thing, you can use the bungee cord that's supplied to stretch to the pegs that you're using. So the bungee at the back, maybe make it about, I'm not sure how much is supplied, so you might just have to jiggle it. And of course, stupidly, I wasn't thinking properly. So I cut off four equal parts and then I still had a bit left over and as I cut off four pieces that were about 20 inches long so 20 inches maybe two feet at the back is enough but maybe give yourself about two and a half um, feet at the front if you can and then you can you can stretch the bungee cord all the way out to the front and you have enough so you know you can learn from my error. I've I've tied not a knot in it there, so you can learn from my error there. Um, I I didn't think about that. That was a pretty stupid. But you can just uh, you know, you can do that. So I would say about two and a half feet bungee cord on the front to reach your front pegs, and then twenty inches to two feet at at the at the back to reach the back peg should just about you know should just about do it depending on how much is sent but there's pl plenty of scent okay well we've got the front lower for like storm mode it's not very very low at this moment comment in the comments below cricket users can you get the door lower than that in the seal poly version um, i'm guessing you probably can but if you try to get the door lower you've kind of got the the funny you know loose there but maybe if you kind of try and get that one stretched out a little bit more that's about 45 centimeters as measured by <laughs> by my by my apple phone so that seems to be quite quite a low pitch how easy or otherwise is it to get you know you've definitely you're definitely on your knees and you're definitely oh you're on your elbows as well you know that is a knee probably a crotch shot there but obviously it doesn't really change anything you know inside you just have a slightly <coughs> lower door you know and a slightly trickier you know entrance to to get in so what we'll try and do now because for most purposes you know 
unless the weather is really, really bad and rain is trying to get in at you, you know, you, you probably want a slightly higher door. So that's, that's a low door. I'll see if I can get it any lower. <laughs> I'm not sure I can, but we'll have a bit more of a play. Okay, well, I think that's now about 40 centimeters off the ground. The only thing I notice is when you obviously loosen that line there and then bring this one slightly, you know, to the left and trying to get it sort of forward, you're maybe impacting on the, you know, the straightness as it were of, of that particular line there. And it is concaving in, you know, a little bit more. So you probably don't want to go any lower a door on, on that. What happens, can we tighten this up? It won't It'll tighten up a little bit, which helps, which does help a bit. And that, that has helped a bit actually, I should have tightened that up. And it's a, it's a fresh, it's a fresh breeze coming through here. It's probably about 10, 15 miles an hour. So that's, uh, that's your, that's your low, that's your low door that I can see on this first examination as it were. All right, so what we'll do is now, we'll see if we can get a high door. Okay, I'm trying to get a higher door on the Sil Poly Cricket, and it doesn't seem as easy as I see the photographs of the seal nylon because of the lack of stretch to it. Because when I pull, you've got this ribbing effect going on here. Okay, well I've moved the pole further back and the only way that you can tighten that up is when the pole is pulled forward and then you know that's perfect at the back that that's perfect then that, that's fine that that that's okay then at this height, no pole on the front works best. But you can't do it with, you know, a, a higher door. It does seem like it wants to have, you know, a slightly lower door. Okay, well this door seems to be as high as I can get it in the Sil Poly version. Uh, if I make the door higher with the pole, then other bits get loose. I'll be very interested, um, you know, to see what feedback, you know, we get on this. Because like I said, this is, this is just a first view and you know, I'm not familiar with, with this, so we may as well do the bare, you know, the bare bones and all. If you can't get it right, then, or then we all, we can all learn. But I am curious as to whether, you know, a higher door 
is obtainable. Like I said, that's a 140 centimeter pole. I think what I'll try is I'll try my pacer pole, which is also about 40 centimeters. And I'll put this little bit on the end. I'll, I'll measure it at home, but that will probably give me about 145 centimeters. And we'll see just giving it, you know, a little bit more height, what that does. Well, to get the door higher, I've put my aluminium pacer pole in, which is set at around about maximum, which is about 140, one, which is about 140 centimeters plus the short pole jack. So it's probably around about 145. And when it's set on 145, I can still have the back very low to the ground and a, and a higher front door. I think what I what would be better would be a second pacer pole on the door because I was thinking that those poles would be enough. I just brought one pacer pole with me. So it's not quite so easy to be able to judge the door, but a pacer pole where you could, you know, make the pole itself lower so there's less of an angle going up, I think would be better for the door. I might even try to get a, a, like a Ruta Locura pole that might even be better. We're just gonna, we're just gonna stop for playtime. So I think my findings are that, oh, that with a bit of jiggery pokery, you can get a 140 centimetre middle pole and a 50 centimetre door, either with a very short pole or maybe better still, no pole at all but a very long line to give you as much, you know, to give you as much angle as possible on the door. I will play with these more, you know, over the coming days, weeks and, well, not day, well, <laughs> tomorrow, but weeks and months. One, um, one useful, tip for you is when you get these shelters particularly the big ones mind you even that one as well you, you use bungee cord on the mid tie out points but you don't need to put cords on on all of the tie out points it's really not um i really don't think it's necessary to put cord on on all of them you could argue that that one there is on the tight uh, side. You probably just want to bring the peg in, you know, a tiny, tiny bit on that so it's not deforming it. You don't really want it deformed. You don't want it pulling the shelter out um, too much. So that would be, you know, that's my suggestion on that. It's there for support you know, additional support not to change the shape. So there you are, you see even, even I get it wrong sometimes. But what, you, what I like to do is to have a clip like this. Now, I don't really need it on this wall here so much, but it might be useful on that one there. So if I put that down there, pull that peg out, undo that clip, clip it on there, okay. 
and put that one in there. And it might just help that line there. This one here was just, I think there's a stone under there. So we'll just, we'll just make that a little bit shorter so it's not deforming that so much. And again, I think this one here might very well benefit. And also I would suggest that my lines are probably on the short side. If you've got some spare cord, which I probably do, <laughs> uh, then I probably would suggest, you know, longer lines on those on those back ones. I think I was struggling with what I had for that for that pitch, but. Uh, those lines might work well on on that over there with a bit of bungee cord maybe. But you know, you might find it useful just to put the cords on the back, but realistically, you know, I think what they do is is minimal really. I think it's I think they're there for <laughs> I think they're there for show as much as anything else. The main support is going to be from the, you know, the shelter itself. Okay, well it looks like a... <laughs> mess. My usual mess. Don't forget to like, scubs, and blah, 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 subscribe, share, hit that notification button to all, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.